by the structure of this building. You know I'm a deluxe baby. This is kind of weird. This is like one of the first times I've done a review starting inside a casino. But here we are. I left my jacket at home. Uh, and uh, that's a bad idea because I'm cold. Well, I left it in the car. Yo, what's good, Ryan? How you doing, my brother? Check this out. First time I ever walked into the Luxor, I was quite amazed at the fact that the pyramid was hollowed. For some reason, I always felt like um, there was gonna be like, I guess rooms in all of this. Um, yo, what up Alvarado? How's it going, bro? Alvaro, fucking Alvarado, my bad. <laughs> You go into AVN. Is that the the adult convention? The answer is no, but is it here? I thought it was at the convention center. I'm doing good. How are you, bro? Bro, Vegas kicked my ass this past week. Damn. Like what kind of like, like money wise? Did it just steal all your money? Ooh, so. For those of you that don't know, this is the Titanic exhibition. They have artifacts for from the actual Titanic. And apparently people that work here are, um, they, they, they claim that a lot of the artifacts are haunted. Um, now, I don't know how this is supposed to be from the Titanic if I thought the Titanic sank to the bottom of the, sh of the sea. Did these things float or did they retrieve some of the stuff? I guess I should go to the... I guess I should go to the exhibition to find out. But yeah, a lot of people say it's haunted. Uh, people that work here say that they they hear things and that they feel people touching them when they're by themselves. I don't know. Usually the only person that touches me when, when I'm by myself is myself, if you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. That was a terrible joke, all right? We're starting the night with uh, some god-awful jokes. This is the entrance for the Blue Man Group. Yo, what's good, Lee? Can you say hi to Joanne Troyani? What up, Joanne? All right, this is the uh, Blue Man Group. I guess like the pre-lobby, except that it's not really a lobby. Can you play with this thing? I forgot. I think last time I tried it, they were off. You can make music with this. It's only on when the show's going on. Okay, I think that shut it off. Kind of. Or maybe it just gives you the illusion that you're doing something. Anyway, moving on. Who else we got here? Where is everyone? Usually the top floor right here looks, uh, looks kind of empty. But it is a Friday night, so maybe just in general, Vegas is a little late or uh, empty. Um, big Dog, uh, Soleil, say, yo, you're on a roll with these lives. Yeah, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent this year, you know? I guess that's what happens when you don't drink. We're just walking around. Little, little Diablo's Cantina. There's usually a long wait here. It's one of the only restaurants at the Luxor that's like, I guess, cool. So it's always a 30 to an hour wait. The food is okay. Margarita was good. Food is, like I said, I guess I'm a tough critic, critic but people like it. Tends to be people that aren't Mexican that like it a lot. People are running out of money. Although, yeah, maybe, maybe the uh, economy is coming down or slowing down. Planning my next trip in March. Hell yeah, Ryan. Get it, brother. Come give this city the money it, it needs. <laughs> are you going to the new play place? I was just up there. So I guess I'll talk about it a little bit. Love the lives, Vegas bus drive. There you go. You guys are way more clever than I am with these names. And possibly may if I can get my hands on Lover and Oh no, I feel like the reception is going to go in and out. I'm connected to Wi-Fi too. 
I'm going next month to win some money. Let's go, big dog. So I think um, I was under the impression that that was going to be kind of like an arcade, but it's not. It's like a, I guess like a giant, you know, like playing di um, like the giant Jenga and the beer pong with the trash cans and like stuff like that. That's basically what you have there. I was like, hey, like, is it like, I don't know, based on hour or something like that? They're like, no, you basically accept that when you do that, you need like people, you know? You need the other people. And I'm by myself and I'm like, all right, that's kind of dumb. I'm not, I'm gonna skip the play place, but I might come back when I have friends, you know? And um, have, them, have them film while we do some shit, you know? So the lady was like, yeah, come back and bring some friends. I was like, I don't have any, sorry. Where are the girls? Big dog, you tell me, brother. You bring them when the girls uh, are there and you get there. Do they run away? Or do they flock towards you? Because right now, I'm by myself, brother. By myself. And I didn't pull out enough, enough cash to att attract the women right away. Tomorrow night, Hedy, happy Friday, man. Happy Friday to you. Coming to Vegas in March, going to stay at the Signature. Let's go, great place. A lot of walking to get to the, to where you need to be, but still a great place. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. All right, here's a nice little bar called Flight. I've lost like a hundred, two hundred dollars on that roulette machine. Or no, it was a crap machine. It was one of those two. Love the Luxor lobby. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. And look at this. This is the Hyper X Arena. This is uh, basically a, play, a place to drop off your kids and have them play computers like they would at home. I'm gonna look at the prices. Hello, $15 an hour? That's not bad. If you get twice the hours? Okay. And do you get coaching on how to like open up, how to start? You just okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I mean like more so like, cause I don't play on computer games. Actually, I don't play games. Or just like, hey, like this is how you start it. That's it. For sure. All right, sounds cool. All right, so fifteen dollars per hour. Two dollars for twenty-five dollars. Do do parents do this? Do they drop off their kids here and then go out and like come back like two weeks later? <laughs> really. Yeah, that's funny. A warrior pass? Wow, so for a whole day, $125. That's crazy. I just went up there to the uh, play place. Oh, it's open? It's open now. I think it just opened. Oh my God. And I thought it was going to be like an arcade. Yeah. It's not. Huh? Are you? Do you have like other games? You have a, a Smash tournament? Oh, it's happening right now? Can I watch? Oh, hell yeah. Love it. All right, I'm gonna head in there. I might, I might. Okay. We'll see. I don't really play games a whole lot. Thank you. So, so there you have it. If you like Smash, I actually play Smash. Yeah, sorry guys. I feel like the Wi Fi is not working properly here. But yeah, for anyone that's joining right now, we are at the Hyper X Arena. And I guess there's a tournament happening right now. Looks like there's a lot of guys and girls up there. I don't know if they're waiting for their turn. Who's even narrating this? Oh. 
Look, they have some like little stores here popped up. Selling some cool beanies. Look at that. And patches. Pokemon cards. What are these? Like credit card holders? Yeah, credit card covers. That's what it is. Interesting. I would have never known that this was a thing. Definitely a lot of like gamer, um, kind of like anime vibes right here. What is happening? Two, two for ten bucks is cheap. Yeah. Also, just coming here in general is cheap. If you like gaming. Dude, I am so confused. I don't know what is even happening. What happened to the days of just playing Call of Duty? Oh, wow. And there's more people up there, too. This looks fun. I wish... I wish I was into this. Just like a bunch of super chill people hanging out on Friday night. It smells like Mountain Dew and and a lot of what Doritos. Was this the former sports book area? I don't know what was here before. Actually, I know this probably what. Open in like 2020, I want to say. So we'll, we'll play gamers there. So you play gamers there. What's wrong with home gaming? I guess you're at least like with other people here. You're being like social. With something that you can 100% do. Oh, it's only VIP up there. I want to head up there. Oh, look at that. There's like, they have a broadcasting studio. Look at that. Or it's a podcast or something. This is so cool. You have a bar right here. Mixed with a lot of BO, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I'm not particularly close to smell anyone, but you know what? I think I even have some BO. Look, there's a baby over there. No age discrimination here. What's good, J-Rock? Thank you so much, man. Look, up there you have another bar. So dope. What's up? No, but I know you from somewhere too. I was like, I saw you on set. I know that book. How do how do we know each other? I don't know. Did you go to UNLV? I did go to UNLV. Uh, did we have a class together? Maybe. That might have been it. What year did you graduate? Twenty uh, seventeen. Same. Did you, were you in like, the, yeah, well, I was in journalism media studies. I think it was comms. I think that's what it Yeah. Happened. Okay. Yeah, like, we probably had a, a journalism class maybe. Yeah. I definitely had uh, communication classes. That was like, I guess like the minor that you had to take within like media studies. Yeah. It had, it had to have been a college class. Uh -huh. I yep. was on comms and like, <laughs> like there's a guy on the side of the stage and I know him from somewhere. Yeah. I have no idea why. I yeah. No, I know. I saw you. Dude, for a second, I thought you were like some like a camera reviewer from YouTube or something. I was like, that guy looks familiar, but I just don't know from where. <laughs> no, no, no. What was your name again? Uh, Kevin. Kevin, I'm George. George. Yeah, well, good to re meet you, brother. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, I actually knew your name was George, but I don't you did? know why. <laughs> Dude, I so, I, uh, some people tell me my face is like unique. I usually take that as like a, you know, they're trying to tell me that I'm ugly. But like, some people just say, like, hey, your face is like, you don't, they don't make them like that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Had, had to have been a college class. Uh, yeah, I think so. Either like critical communication. Probably. Critical probably analysis. one of those. Yeah. Now I have like zero access to any of my class stuff, so I wouldn't even be able to go back to look. Me, me too. <laughs> when they kicked me out, I was a little upset. 
Um, I was mad. I use it for a lot of stuff, so I just lose my. <laughs> I just lost all my. Uh, all your freebies? Yeah, your discounts. Yeah. Oh no, that sucks. My Spotify just jumped in price. Me like, too. Yeah, me too. Me too. I actually, yeah, Photoshop a transcript from like, but after that, I felt like I was shitty. I was like, oh, I'm getting paid now. I should. I should do it. Dude, can you explain what's going on here? Yeah, like, absolutely. so, well, well, first of all, what's your role here? Uh, so I'm the director of esports for the arena. Director of uh, esports. So Allied Sports. Allied Sports. Allied. Allied. So it's not Hyper, or uh, Hyper is just the name of the Hyper arena? It's like a naming sponsor, like T-Mobile Arena. Ah. Uh, the arena. Ah. Uh, uh, um, they name they say that. Uh-huh. So uh, we're, the, we're Allied Esports, and we run uh, different types of gaming tournaments and different kinds of There's a tournament happening right now? Yes. So we have two different events going on right now. We have our... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So there you have it, Kevin from Allied Esports. That dude must be a millionaire if he's a director of esports. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But I'm waiting for him to come back so he can let me know what the hell is happening. I'm more intrigued for this right here. It's like a little, what would you call this? Um, like a, a market? Um, there's, a, there's a better name for this. Um, can someone help me out? What do you call this when people just do pop-ups like this, but together? But there's there's quite a good amount of people. I don't see a whole lot of people drinking, though. I would be, um, like, drunk here if I could. What gaming event are you watching? Like, I wasn't necessarily, like, watching. I just kind of stumbled on this. I meant to go to play, which we can go check it out after this. No one helped me out in the comments. Class reunion. <laughs> Ultimate battle section. No, no, no one. No one told me. I guess I was thinking. Oh, I don't know. I, I can't I can't even say right now like a market but all right, all right. yeah yeah no worries um, yeah we have two events going on tonight we have knockdown which is our fighting game tournament so we uh -huh. do uh, Tekken 8 just came out yesterday so this is a first Tekken 8 tournament that we've done oh okay uh, we have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate upstairs we have Melee in that orange room up there we have uh, Street Fighter 6 uh, Mortal Kombat 1 do people uh, win money or is it yeah. just really yeah so what do the prices look like uh so it's 15 dollars to compete in one tournament it's uh -huh. 25 if you compete in two uh-huh um we, we cap out at two otherwise our brackets would take a million years i will play in different brackets i see um and uh we do a scaling prize pool for this event mm -hmm. so based off of the number of attendants uh it can go up to uh a thousand dollars a thousand dollars uh, we average each tournament averages about two fifty to five hundred dollars price. Oh, the price would be two fifty, uh, five hundred, and it can go up to a thousand. Yeah, go up to. Oh, okay, okay. That's... It, it can be lower too. So if we get yeah. three to six people, we do a fifty dollar winner take all. If we get uh, seven to, I think it was, it's like twelve. I see. Uh, we do a hundred dollars winner uh, mm -hmm. top two. And nice. We go from there. Okay. And can you explain to me like what's going on here? This yeah, is so just... this is our night market. So... Night market. Ah, I knew it. I was like I was trying to ask like people in the chat, I was like, what like would you call this? And I was the only, that's the only word I could come up with. Yeah. We call it arena night market. Uh -huh. uh, we do um, uh, we just work with local vendors to come in, uh, facilitate a cool vibe, cool environment, we do giveaways, uh, and they have opportunities to showcase all their cool stuff that's dope man that's cool so do you also oversee this or just kind of like the gaming uh, side both events are mine yeah uh, really yeah okay cool but, but my team handles the, yeah uh the night market dude we get, all different TOs get my info down i feel like yeah. i can so i i run like a i guess like youtube channel mm -hmm. and on instagram and i can help you guys out i can make a video for you guys to to Absolutely. get more people to come in um or just get, I don't want to like say my my phone number out loud. Yeah, Hold I was on. Gonna say. I'm gonna pause, mute this. Yeah. All right, so my brother Kevin already had my number. <laughs> We're probably like, 
like I, we're probably I, grouped up in a project, off. right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. That's funny. Uh, I bet I bet if I look up your name on my, like, because I still have all my files from college, something would come up like a would, team. You would give it away. A team project, yeah. Yeah, because... Yeah, it, it's still... That's, that's, my, that's my face right there. Yeah. Look. I'm going to show you. I'm going to cover yeah, my... I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, cover that. Look at that. <laughs> There's me graduating. That's funny. How do you even have my photo? <laughs> I, don't, I think it was attached to your... I think it was attached to your email maybe oh I don't yeah know. i don't know but he he has my photo i was like I, i'm Careful. confused too yeah no that, that's <laughs> fun man that, that's cool but yeah dude hit me up uh, yeah. my uh i guess my name on everything is vegas must must try okay. so i do videos on like food mainly uh, mostly but i do also like other stuff so yeah i'd love to get you guys more more exposure because this is cool i'm sure like this is not my scene but i'm sure there's people that would love to know that this exists and they don't know yeah. you know yeah, we definitely love to have you guys uh, have more people come by. Uh, we're always uh, down to do more stuff. We're working on projects that aren't necessarily just gaming. We do lots of different stuff. Uh, okay. General entertainment, music, uh, things like that as well. Love so it. We okay. Have a lot of different stuff. Going on. Cool. And then, how often does this happen? Every Friday? Uh, knockdown. The the fighting game portion of this happens most Fridays. Most we're, Fridays. Okay. Uh, February is a little weird, and March is a little weird because of March Madness, Super Bowl, things like that. So mm -hmm. our months a little messed up. Yeah. Um, next Friday we're actually doing Fortnite. Um, Fortnite. That sounds fun. Um, and we do Mario Karts on Saturdays. So that's Mario cool. Every Saturday or Pretty what? Much, yeah. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, that I would kick ass in for because you don't you don't need that much skill. Yeah. Fortnite, I'll give my ass like shoot out for sure. But Mario Kart, oh, I'll come, I'll come in. Yeah. And it's it's like I said, it's only, that one's only fifteen dollars. The prize pool seven hundred. That one doesn't seven hundred. So it's seven hundred dollar prize pool. We pay oh, on dude. top twelve. Dude, say less. So we have. Uh, you pay on top twelve out of how many people you think? Uh, we average around anywhere, like the lowest is usually around 34, but uh -huh. we, we, we can get up to 72. Okay, dude, that sounds fun. I bet, um, I don't know, I don't know. Not with these guys. These guys look like they're pretty good at games. Like, I'm good. solid. I play online like Mario Kart and I like win a lot of the times, but all right, no, that sounds fun, man. Yeah. All right. I'll just keep walking around, yeah. but I, I sent you a, I sent you a text with uh, my name and number in case. Hell yeah, uh, no, I'll for sure, fingers. I'll save it in case uh, I don't have it already. I didn't see your text. Imagine it's not the right number. No, well, the one <laughs> the one you just showed me was my game. Um, yeah. Is it like reception? Maybe you think. I, it's I actually, my phone's been fucked up today. So that's probably why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. No, no worries. No worries. Sorry. All right, man. Have a good night. So there you guys have it. All right, so this is the night market they do here at e, um, what is it, Allied Esports, but it's at the HyperX Arena. And uh, local vendors, but they also have right now, like I guess a, a combat tournament, uh, 15 to $25 buy-in. And people usually win somewhere between 200 to up to $1,000, uh, depending on the tournament, how many people sign up. So boom, there you have it. This actually sounds fun. I'm gonna ask like, my girlfriend or like my roommates if they want to come get their ass kicked i want to see if i can get up look there's like little lounging areas i love the low ceiling like if you were like a six four person you definitely couldn't fit here is this really live yes philip <laughs> it's really live But yeah, I guess you can smash some brewskis here, watch the basketball game. And you're watching the actual like people playing right now. This is Tekken 8, I think he said. I love how everyone's saying, reacting to the game like, oh no. This is cool. Grambling, gambling granny said, I hope to see you in March. We will be at El Cortez. Granny, can you send me a message as to how that works? Like, do I have to sign up? Like, let me know. Um, I don't, I haven't been keeping up with the granny meetups. I would love to, uh, can you send me a message somewhere else so I can actually uh, keep it? Because right now, I don't see it some of the times. Oh, this is dope. HyperX Arena right now. Yes, sir. I believe. 
I just don't know who's playing who. Uh, okay, we had a super chat. Jesus, sorry. J Rock, always good content, brother. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. Oh, look at that. These guys are facing each other. The guy on the left looks so angry. The guy on the right looks like it's just another day. He just took another uh, tab of acid. He, this, is, this is just what he does, you know? It's Friday night. I love that there's like their little faces right here. So you think uh, the guy on the glasses, that's the, the guy with the white shirt or with the white hair? Yes, definitely. It's not Granny Fist. We're just coming to film. Where should I message you at? Um, on Instagram, on uh, Vegas Must Try. I think that's uh, probably the best bet. I'll for sure see it there. Sometimes Facebook gets, uh, it gets lost. <laughs> It looks kind of popping. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What country is it? Oh, is this the United States? <laughs> Las Vegas? In Zach's brother. Yo, Pierre. In Zach's, my dude. Who do you guys got money on? I got money on uh, this guy right here. Long hair. Oh, sh just kidding. I have money on the white hair. I am a dirty cop, Interpol sniper. What are they going to do? All right, let's keep it moving. Look at, look at that controller. Look at that, it's like the old school uh, machines. And he has gloves on too, so it doesn't Give him nerve damage. What did Granny say? We'll definitely send you a message. We'd love to film with you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Reminds me of Street Fighter. What is the name of the game? The name of that game is Tekken. All right, what do we have here? That looks like, I don't know, like King of Fighter. restrooms you can stream right here <laughs> this is dope one day I'm just gonna do like a uh, a video game streaming look at that he's streaming here too this so cool this is sick how do we do this Oh, he has one of those as well. Dude, I'm just so amazed at all the things that I don't know. Because my roommate plays games, but he does it with like a mouse. All right, let's head upstairs. Here it is, HyperX Arena. Is it HyperX or just Hyper? <clears throat> All right, here's a self-service bar. Look at this. Wow, so many people. Old school com uh, TVs? Look at those. Oh, this is where the Smash Brothers tournament is happening. Oh, I'll for sure get my ass kicked here. What are these called? I just saw a bunch of people using them. This right here? Yeah. This is a hitbox, so it's a leverless uh, arcade stick. Shout out to Hitbox. I love yeah, Hitbox. Yeah, shout out to Dustin. Hit A. Hit A. Hey, 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 h
Tekken so much easier. Tekken, only Tekken. Tekken. I've only played it with Tekken. Street Fighter and Eve. Any fighting game. Yeah. Okay. Hip Street Fighter and Tekken. Hitbox is what I would uh, what so, I prefer. So no more joy joystick. Yeah. Like. So so I. Correct me if I'm wrong. They might people in the comments might say something else, but like these are all digital buttons, right? Yeah. So for example, if you, um, you can't really like mess up the inputs. Yeah. And then in certain games, because it's highly um, registered neutral interactions, you can like do a DB just by like doing like this. What's a DB? Uh, like dragon punch. Like yeah, like four oh, quarter circle. I'm, I'm not four, a gamer, so my four, bad. Like, yeah, no, literally four uh, quarter circle forward. Yeah, like. like for you can, and how do you move forward and backward? Just with the like left, with right, the same one. Yeah. Right, left, right, uh, left, up, down. Yeah. Shit. It's, it's like the Yeah. It's it's a it's a big skill seal. It's a huge skill ceiling to get used to it. But once you do. But once you're used to it, it it feels a little bit more like I won't say natural because I don't care if you're using controller or whatever. Like uh -huh. for Street Fighter, I play with controller sometimes, but like. I don't fuck up inputs with a hitbox. I see. It's just getting the inputs, that's the hard part. Were you playing in the tournament? Just nah, I'm a, I, I play Canberra. I'm not a huge competitive person. Yeah. Unless it's KOF 13. King Fighter? Yeah. Okay, I nice. Love, I love King Fighter. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's my first fighting game, honestly. Yeah, oh, kind of me too. I would or, say that and Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, Under Night. Under Night? Under Night Birth. Never heard of it. Yeah. Just dropped, uh, like a couple days ago. Well, thank you for letting me know about that stuff, brother. Appreciate you. Have a great night. You too. So there you guys have it. Hitbox makes the best. Look, another hitbox right here. Learn something new every day. I love that they're all playing on the old school TVs over there and here you have like a lot of flat screens. <laughs> so this is how it looks from up here on the second floor. Okay, I actually want to go watch over here. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. You have a question. Are they they're the ones who the audio we're hearing, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. So okay, here we go. They have the people streaming right here. And they are the ones doing the commentating on the Tekken tournament. I don't know how this works obviously, but they're just watching and commentating. Cool. I don't know if like only two people can be on the main screen at the same time or the highest ranked people or every single person that competes is going to be there eventually. But these two have been going at it for a while. So I, I don't know how many rounds they're supposed to go. But I feel like the dude with the white hair is uh, putting in the work. Yeah, look at that defense. Oh my God. Sure you can. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, my brother. No one I know. All right, there you have it. That's what the second floor looks like. No entry to come in. You can, uh, you know, you can choose to play one of the tournaments, or you can just play one of the games here. Fifteen dollars for the hour, twenty-five for two hours, and you know, you saw the prices earlier. Every time I walk through like this this roof right here, the reception falls. All right, so for those of you that are wondering, if anyone is, this is the price. 15, 25, 40 for four hours. Pretty sick. Mm. Oh. Hey. 
There you have it. All right, what does June say? Come on, let's get it to 100 likes. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. There are 172 in the chat. Dude, hell yeah. Yo, can we listen to my man Gene for a second? Can you guys give this uh, stream a like? There are 79 likes right now, 175 people watching. We could, we could get, we could spare some 25 likes, right? But we'll keep making our way. For anyone wondering, we are at the Luxor, aka the Pyramid. It is a MGM Resorts property. Of the, I would say on the lower end of the portfolio. Um, you usually find cheaper rooms here. Uh, two, 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 two. The pool is also not one of my favorites. While you're swimming, you have the, the, the pyramid in the background, so it looks pretty awesome. But the property itself is uh, on the cheaper side. Still fun. You can have fun anywhere in Vegas, pretty much. Here's the buffet. The buffet is actually located downstairs. Probably closed right now. And also the buffet is not one of my <laughs> favorites in Vegas. As a matter of fact, it's probably my least favorite buffet. Quite nasty at times. That's why it's in the basement. To go, <laughs> to go to the buffet, you have to go to the basement here. I've never seen this machine, the Tarzan. Just jumped on my phone to give you a like. Watching you on the TV and give you a like on there as well. Oh, thank you, Pedro. Gambling Granny, let's go. White hair dude, name is Brian. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, look, here's the sports book. I know someone mentioned that they, that the sports book arena, or that the eSports arena was the old sports book. Um, and that may be true. And if it was, if it is true, they moved it over here. And I mean, yeah, this is a pretty small and compact. It looks like a sports book that you would find somewhere not in Vegas. Uh, yo, what's good, brother? Said Stoner. What's good, bro? I think MGM Buffet is worse than Luxor. Uh, that's up for debate. I actually like the uh, MGM the most. I think it would be Luxor and then Excalibur for the two worst ones. I saw your ramen Ebisu post. That place looks bomb. Yeah, thank you. That place is pretty good. I actually liked it a lot. I haven't had ramen in, in a while. So the ramen Ebisu just opened in Henderson. Like, like Green Valley area. So if you like ramen, definitely go check it out. They use like, for their broth, it's just water and pork bones. That's how they make their broth. Some of the people add like, I think like MSG or something or some other additives to make it taste better. But this is just like legit, just those two ingredients. Uh, so that was good. Definitely go check them out. If you like ramen, I absolutely love ramen. I ate like two bowls that day. Um, for the video, of course, not because I'm a glutton. Thank you for get, uh, for getting George to 100 likes. The fi the five gifted memberships are coming now. Congrats on who gets them. But now let's get them to 150 likes. Gene, you're the fucking you're the man. Um, when that happens, do you get to choose who you give the the memberships to, or how does that work? I need to try that. I love ramen. I want the spicy one. Bizzo Bizzo Bo VR. Uh, what side of town do you live in? Because I have a, another recommendation for a spicy ramen, spicy tonkotsu, over at Kobo. The spicy tonkotsu at Ebisu was good, but the Ebisu ramen, their special, was even better. Do you have a Patreon? I did. I don't think I have it anymore. No, I, I still do. I just like kind of deactivated it because uh, it was just kind of a hassle of logging on and reposting stuff. So I have like a member's like uh, a member like sign up Gene, Gene is part of it that's why his, his name looks different he has a little 
Vegas must try box right there. J Junior Tiger or Tigger <laughs> said, George, what it do? Let's go. Let's go, buddy. North Las Vegas, damn. I don't know anything about ramen in North Las Vegas. I doubt there's that many. And Gene, I didn't know it was random, dude. I thought you would like handpick who you gave them to. But thank you for uh, for the well, for doing that, man. That that's freaking awesome that you're donating memberships like that. You are the best. By the way, your old red was great. No else, no one else done anything about it. Yeah, I figured like it was missing. I was expecting to see some people go cover it, and a lot of people were asking me about old red. So I was like, you know what? Let's make a video. Let's be one of the first to cover Old Red. I had ramen ebisu and thought it was flavorless, but I'll give it another try. Oh, that sucks, Alicia. I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. If anything, it doesn't have that crazy, you know, MSG uh, kind of like flavor. But I don't know. I, I I actually thought it was pretty good. Like I said, I had the their special, and then I had the spicy, spicy tokotsu. I respect you trying to have a dry year, Pedro. I'm not gonna try to have a dry year. I'm going to have a dry year. The only way I would drink is if I got married, and like that was uh, what I told myself. And if I get married. Um, it'll be just one night, you know, but yeah, I am a I'm all in I'm all in type of guy or all out Or all in and out all out and in and out Dude, these machines are tight. Look at this No wonder people get so addicted Should I pull out some money or what and we can play Hi folks, congrats on who got the memberships. If you would like to join Vegas Must Drive memberships, here it is. Dude, Gene is the freaking man. Let's go. Was good, Jaybird. Nice of you to join the squad. I think Jaybird has a YouTube channel. If you guys wanted to uh, to check it, check him out. The other day, or yesterday, I think he asked me where do I edit my videos, and I edit them on Final Cut. It's a uh, an Apple application. Um, so if you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro, or something like that, you can uh, you can use that. I want to see the Fantasy Dancer or Lorena Perro. I don't know who that is. I used to be friends. That girl right there looks like a looks like Ice Spice. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but same uh, type of hair. I used to work with uh, with one of those uh, fantasy girls when I worked at Daylight Beach Club. I was a busser there and she was a server. She was super buff. Damn, look at this. They have a, a guy singing, right? But there's nobody. There's like one person watching him. Like that's it. Uh, do how do you think the Super Bowl weekend is going to be in town? It's probably going to be crazy. Oh yeah, dude, I'm prepared for that week, which is like soon, like in two or three weeks, to be absolutely nuts, bro. When you're gonna do a meetup at Island Greet? Do a meet Island Greet. I'm assuming it's a meet and greet. I don't know. We should we should make one. I keep saying that, but uh, <laughs> I'm not doing it. We should do it somewhere like uh, like Ellis Island or something. I don't know. I was thinking also the Arts District, but I'm not drinking, so it kind of defeats the purpose of uh, drinking at the breweries. Do, do, do. Or if you guys want to do some suggestions. Uh, go to Resorts World. AVN is in town. A performance with no audience. Hell yeah. Tomorrow there is a... Termer, Ali, and Vubus. <laughs> I don't think uh, I think there's a couple of words that were misspelled there. All right, let's make our way up there to where that fun place is. What's after the dry 
year. After the dry, after the dry year, after the dry year, it's a wet year. Uh, starting January first, twenty twenty-five, I'm gonna be drunk until probably like May fourteenth, the day after my birthday, and uh, yeah, it's just gonna be everything after that. Also, extra wet. Look at that. Great engineering. I'm getting kind of thirsty and I would love a margarita from Diablos Cantina. A $19 margarita. Going to Luxor at the end of February. Find out if that's Ice Spice first. No, it wasn't Ice Spice. Saludame Jorge. <laughs> what up Alejandro? Hopefully one day I get to take a picture with your boss. Oh, that would be my pleasure. The elevator there is awful. It always, I always get anxiety. Get a virgin margarita. The only thing virgin here is me. Don't the elevators go sideways? I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like the elevators are here and then they go like sideways like that. Um... I think, I can't remember. Yeah, okay, someone did say at an angle, said Tigger or Tiger. So, all right, I'm gonna show you guys this. For everyone that's watching right now, please remember to like the live stream. It helps out uh, to make it a little bit more trending and suggest it to other people. So please give it a like. And I'm gonna show you guys this new thing that just opened. I believe it opened this week. I may be mistaken, but check this out. This is called play. It's a playground. That's what they call it. So look, don't act your age. Look at that. It's pretty big, you know? The play, play is the whole point. Can't wait to see play. So 120 likes. Once we get to 150 likes, we'll go in there and um, I'm gonna have to pay. I'm gonna, so the price to go in, it's $37, right? So at least you guys can do is give it to 150 likes and I'll go show you guys what it looks like in there. Uh, they definitely, it, def it, def it definitely looks like a place that you go with a lot of friends and that's what they told me. They're like, yeah, I'd recommend you to come back with friends. I don't have any friends right now. You guys are my friends, so do me a favor, hit the like button, 150 likes, and we'll head in there. And um, you know, I'll show you guys around. Do, 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 do. Is it a human petting zoo? No, although that'd be kind of cool. It's like a strip club. <laughs> uh, right on, brother. Shout out to my boy Aleron, the Fio Hedgehog Alexander. What the hell? <laughs> Why did you stop drinking? Uh, just to challenge myself, pretty much. Um, no real reason. Someone said, I heard someone say in the comments, like, "Damn, he must, uh, he must be, he must have been down bad in 2023 to want to stop drinking." Uh, no, that wasn't, um, that wasn't the case. Metal six six one said, "Is Diablo's Cantina still there?" And check this out, brother. It's right there. We just walked past that passed by there and uh yeah still still kicking it's probably one of the all right i'm gonna chill for a little bit here and if it's if it keeps going in and out we won't go in because i'm afraid the signal is gonna drop but yeah all good all good yeah pretty much this is the entrance of play it still smells like paint So tap here. So tap here. I guess I can do it. Purchase. I guess I can do it. Purchase. <laughs> All 
Are you guys selling a discount voucher? Huh? Are you guys selling a discount voucher over no, there? No, oh, okay. it's not a discount voucher. It's the same price as this. Okay. But the only reason that the box office has it. Oh, so they can redeem for, it. Well, yeah, it's for M Life members. I if, see. Their host wants to take care of them or anything that like that. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you. And hey, you say this open today? Yeah, today at 5 p.m. Oh, this is the first day? Yeah, first day. Shit, sure, look at that. And then uh, tomorrow will be open at 4 p.m. Love that. All right, yeah. thank you, man. You're going to come in? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do one of these. Like, yeah. Is this self-service? You can yeah, definitely. pay yourself? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead and tap. So you're going to tap, and then you'll hit purchase. Then it's going to be new visitor. And then general admission VIP access. What is this? So that's a drive until five. That's um anybody under the age of twenty one. Uh huh. It's before five p.m. Oh, yeah, they must leave by five. Yeah. When does it become uh, twenty one and over? Five. At five. At five? Oh, I thought it was later. No, at five p.m. Oh yeah. wow, get them yeah, out of here, right? Five. Yeah. Shit. Look at that. All right. Oops. Let's go. Yeah, Enter so their email. Hit new customer. All right. I'm gonna. I say cool. I'm gonna set the camera down. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. Wow. Okay, so I had heard about it. I thought it was open. I thought it opened like a week ago, but today's the so first it day. Was supposed to, but then we had a few delays, so today was official. I see. It time. smells like paint still. <laughs> yeah, you don't smell the paint? Oh, no. Well, I was outside. So I just walked in. I guarantee you, it smells like paint. Yeah. Yeah, and also it's hard. It's hard to type with like, yeah, one hand. On YouTube. Oh, nice. Like, what's the chat got to say about this? And, uh, I mean, people are excited. Someone heard about it already and like, they want to know what, what it's about. Let's go. You guys heard it. They just opened today. I thought they opened this week. So, aren't we lucky? So, he said he suggests for you to go upstairs first and then you take the slide. And then you basically enter the playground through the slide. Um, okay, it looks like an elevator here. So, this is the first view of it. Okay, a lot of colors, but first impression, it looks like uh, it's very echoey. What the hell? Okay. So, kind of an overview. It does go into these walls over here. And there's a little bit of stuff down here. So I guess this is a good place to be if you're like a little drunk, you know? All right, we're gonna slide through here. All right, look. So you basically get this card. I heard it comes with like 180 credits and it lets you, I guess you have to scan it to be able to play the games, but they don't look like games that you couldn't play without something digital. Anyway, let's go through this uh, freaking slide. I'm gonna try and make this a little smaller by taking the tripod part of, out of it. I hope it's not that fast. Whew. 
Let's go. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the? Right. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> all good. All good. Oh, I got a little dizzy off of that. Así no qué? Sí, ¿verdad? All right. What do we have here? This is Cactus Jack. What's the point of this? So you play rankings. So this is 15 credits. Are you okay? Yes, Gene, I'm all right. So we're scanning this right here. Okay. Okay, what does that mean? Versus play. Oh, I can't versus. Right? Like, I can't play against anyone else? Oh. Just took some of my cash. Okay. Take the position. <laughs> what? Okay. Do you have to get your color? And then shoot him or what? What the hell? <laughs> Am I doing this right? How does this work? Oh, I see it. You have to press this. I see, I see, I see it now. I think so. So you have to hit these? You have to hit the flowers. I see. With any of them or they have, they have to be yellow? Okay. Uh huh. And they just keep this. Oh, you get a few. Oh, and I have time. Jesus. All right, I hit one. I hit that one. Yep. This is way harder than it looks. This is interesting. I have like 10 seconds left. Is that spin or something? How do I get to? I feel like it'd be easier to hit it right here. And that is it. All right, that was time. So I guess it would be, it'd be better if like there was a bunch of people here and everyone was. My score was 65. That's so low. All right, let's uh, see you do it. So the higher you go, the more points you get. Yes. I see, okay. Low well, good to know, thank you. <laughs> definitely a place to go with the group. Yep, definitely. That game was kind of whack. What is this? Just a place to chill, Joey. Uh, but yeah, I guess just a place to, to hang out and chill. This is gonna end up being a place for people to have like private events. That's my guess. I thought it was gonna be like an arcade. When they said an adult playground, that's what I imagined, you know? Kind of like a, like a variation between this and an arcade. Okay, perfect popper. So you have to fit these. Where's that, bro? This is at the Luxor. It just opened today. It's called Play. What is this? Plunge. Single team play. I wish there was a video on like how it works. Oh, I mean, just like a second. Twist, push, plunge, slide, and kick command while the entire playground cheers you on. Entire playground? Who's gonna cheer me on? Uh, play with the group. The more prompts each completes, the, the more points the group receives. Okay. 
So I guess you have to run around and it's like that old school game. Maybe there's a prompt up there and you have to run and do like switch, switch, and then you go spin. You run and spin. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Need to drink before. This is harsh. <laughs> what is this called? Ringer Run, single player. Okay, let's uh, click on this. It's like Bob, yeah, it is. Look, English and Spanish, very inclusive. Go from one end of the rainbow road to the other uh, while guiding a ring that can't touch. The, okay, oh, so while guiding that, okay. Our mood light is designed to distract to get as far as Okay, I, I guess we can do this one. All right, let's give this one a go. Bro, me and my girl saw you filming at Old Red. The video we saw you at, it was walking. We wanted to say hi, but the line was massive. Oh, well, one of you should have done it. But I'm going to do this, okay? I'm going to leave this right here. And I'm going to give it a go. Uh... I think right there looks fine. Alright, I have to move the ring. Oh shoot. Damn. Okay, so the the gimbal might have died. <laughs> but here we go, alright. We'll move this position. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Is it timed or what? Wait, it goes the other way? No, it can't. How the hell? How is it supposed to go the other way? Move to the right of the ring to start. Okay. I think my gimbal ran out of battery. It's crazy because I just, uh, I charged it like two nights ago. All right, so move to the right to start. Okay, so like right here or what? Wait, I can't touch anything, right? Wait, did I did I did I lose or what? Ah, oh, it's hard to do it with like one hand. Ah, I'm not playing? It was already there. Oh man. So see, this is what this is where it was. Pasta. Okay. Can you record me? Absolutely. You can just hold it right there. Now? Yeah, it's good, it's good. One second. Move faster, move the way back. He said, move back. Okay, now it's, now we go. Do I get something if I collect a lot of points? Yes. Prices. Prices. Okay. Like beer and stuff? Okay, cool. Thank you. 
Well, there it is, guys. You guys saw I just got my ass kicked by this thing. This is probably the coolest little part of this whole section. I like it. And um, I don't really have steady hands. But there you have it. All right, I'm gonna try and catch up with a couple of comments. Let's see. Uh, he manager guy gotta have people stationed somewhere better for directions. Yeah, I agree with you. Nice song, Kylie Minaj. I don't know who that is. Maybe the girl singing. I like this place. You truly need a group. I do. Why don't you and Kyle come uh, come through? The games need more instructions, but they seem fun after a couple of drinks. You're right about that. That would be damn near impossible drunk. Yeah, well, it was impossible for me. <laughs> I like hit it like six times or seven times. Is this stupid thing really turned off? Did it die? Oh no. All right, so I'm gonna have to put this in my pocket and just go old school, just barehanded. You know what's gonna end up happening? I'm not gonna do every single game here, and I'm just gonna keep this for a later use. All right, let's continue. What is this? Oh, a giant game of operation? It's someone supposed to be playing? Yeah, I guess someone started playing, but they just left it. Oh yeah, it is Dr. Doctor. Rally your medical team. You place the bones here. Steve said he thinks it's sort of lame. All right, let's watch other people play, yeah? Are the managers teaching them how to play? So it's basically like the, like, uh, what's it called? Ski ball? And like the little characters up here start moving. Naomi thinks it's a fun place. But on, only the left side's playing, right? Rolla Derby. Do you play this or do you just like hang out? Just catch, catching balls. All right, that ball is never gonna fall. I caught one. What do I get? Ah! So, babe, you see if you want me? Got him. Okay, some random seating area. I see. What is this, like four square? Oh, okay, this looks actually fun. Um, I believe the lights would turn on and then you would have to press these as soon as they turn on. I'm assuming it's for four people. There's a ranking right here. And um, yeah, that's how it operates. This one right here was a letdown. I would, it's like very cheap. I wish it was a, like a digital screen or something. This, this looks fun. 90s Vegas is the best. So yeah, guys, this is the first time this is a... Uh, first time this, uh, I guess, the grand opening. Although I didn't hear anyone talking about it. It just happened to be the grand opening. Single play, ramp up. Squeeze those bars together to overcome gravitational force to propel the big ball as far 
up in the track as possible. Then drop it like it's hot. This is the game of attitude meets altitude. Okay. Well, since I don't have my my handy dandy gimbal, I won't be able to record and do that. I can see why it's dead. <laughs> George, Gondavato, how are you? How you doing with your no beer liquor life? Como le haces para no pensar en cerveza? Dude, I do think about beer. And thank you for the donation, bro. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, he basically said, what do you, how do you do it to not think about beer? And do I do. It's like, like right now, I'd love to get drunk. You have no idea. It's Friday. I had a really stressful week at work. Hold on, we got more games here. Word up. But yeah, basically, like, I just put myself in the, in the, in the, in the mindset that I'm not going to drink. Because if I start drinking, dude, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like deemed as a pussy, and I don't want to be known as that. So it's a good way to be accountable. Oh, look at that a little selfie room. I love drunk George. I, I kind of love him. I also love sober George. Check this out. It's probably the coolest part of this place so far. A selfie room. <laughs> Yeah, but no lie, it's a bit of a letdown. There's more things over here. What do we have here? Frolic or frolic? Top ranking in the past hour. It's a versus. Two versus two. Get up on the dance floor, follow the part, follow the patterns you see. Oh, it's basically like Dance Dance Revolution. Don't get me wrong, the New Vegas looks hella cool, but man, nothing beats the nostalgia of the 90s. I actually hate feeling nostalgic. That's just my personal thing. Is this also another game? Yeah. Big ol' ball. Oh, this one actually looks kind of fun. You have to go through a maze and there's points in, in each uh, circle. And the whole team plays, I see. All right. But just a random seating area. It looks like a place where you would do like speed dating. Like it's just like the velvet seats and a little nice and in private, people facing each other. Kind of odd. What is it? Poker, poker parkour. What? Let's see. Can you outrun the giant poker chips that want to place a bet on a bet on you folding? You need to be both light on your toes and steady on your feet. This to sashay across the balance beam and back. Get your weekend warrior challenge. All right. This we might be able to do. I just wish I saw someone else do it. I can maybe place the camera right here. Dude, I seriously need friends. Anyone wants to be my friend and come and record? I feel like this is going to be easy though. I plan on moving there soon. Well, there you go, fry guy. I got a friend now. That's way too low. I get those goosebumps every time. I get those goosebumps every time. You make me come to the side. How do we do this? How do we film myself? Or how about here? All right, we'll do it right here. Let's go. Okay, it's a lot harder than I thought. 
Okay. So there it is. I got 305 points. Did I beat anyone? Top high ranking today. Someone got 515. Okay. I can definitely do more than that. I'm going to try it one more time. I need that rhyme and throw that to the side. Yeah. Yeah, the music was hella loud. They should have informed you that most of the games are played with the group. But that one's kind of fire. Yeah, this was, this was dope. Um, but no, definitely they did tell me up, up at the front. They're like, hey, uh, just FYI, uh, a lot of this stuff is, you know, it works better with groups. But either way, I'm going to do this one and then we'll bounce from this location because, uh, yeah, I definitely have to come back with, with some people. Exactly, Dana said trigger or tigger. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, I messed up because I thought, I thought I could start from this side. But still, even then I only got 356 points. How the hell did someone get 500? All right, well, I am almost close to calling this a fail, but I don't want to do it yet, you know? So this is a Dance Dance Revolution mat. Falling down. We got some swag here in case your stay here at play was amazing and you want to remember it forever. Hey guys, quick question. You can use this later on, right? It doesn't expire? No, but you will have to repay your general attention. So you have to pay like 37 again? Yeah, but you'll get those points plus the points you already have on your thing. Oh, okay. I mean, well. unless you, like, if you buy a card, it's like 12 points open, and you come back and you buy, like, then you don't have to pay for the energy, but take a day. I see. Okay. Well, there's not a whole lot of stuff here that I can do right now because you need kind of like groups. But yeah, cool. I had a good look at it. What is this behind you guys? Really, it looks like like a big claw machine. I want to show people. But it, it wouldn't make sense that it's like right behind the bar, you know? Or like a place for a ball pit, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Cool. Yo, do you guys want this? Oh, you guys all have one? Cool. Wait, you got points? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, for free. All right, you guys have a good night. Words of Wisdom said, um, am I going to the Super Bowl? No, I'm not going to the Super Bowl. It's like eight to $10,000 for the cheapest tickets. Uh, Christina said, just wondering where George is at. I'm at the Luxor right now at this new, th new thing called Play. Let me show you what the logo looks like. 
So check this out. It's this. Oh, okay, well, Gene already answered it. The Circus Circus game area looks better than that. Yeah, honestly, this was um, kind of a letdown, if I'm being quite honest. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a place to to play arcade games and maybe a couple of games like this. But the, the games didn't look that cheap, but... I guess you're in Vegas. You have to really innovate and do like things like better than other places. That looked like just, you know, a good engineer that knew how to like make things. I just wasn't quite impressed. Maybe I would have had a better time had I been drunk or with other people, but it seemed like the execution was kind of weak. Which kind of sucks because the Luxor is already kind of known for being a like a budget location or destination and adding more things that make it seem i guess less than premium is gonna it's gonna hurt the brand like it's just gonna like accentuate the mistakes and the faults that the luxor has maybe that place is better for a younger crowd no it's actually closed after 5 p.m so it's supposed to be an adult playground that place is not gonna last with the current setup. Like, the operation that they have is kind of silly. It's not gonna work. Uh, dude, that place like is not that fun for adults. If you want adults in there, you better have like I don't know, like girl cocktail servers and some more interactive stuff. Come on, play. How are you going to do George like that? <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, do, 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 do. How do you feel about Park MGM? That is one of my favorite mid-tiers um, hotels. Probably my favorite. Considering like my type of budget. Like if I had a little bit more budget, I'd stay like at the Aria. And if I had even more budget, I'd stay at the, at the, at the Wynn. But considering me, I'm a millennial, single, you know, can come to Vegas, splurge a little bit, but not too much, I'll probably stay at the park. Oh shit, someone did a super chat and I didn't really see it because I was caught up in this bullshit. I want to see what those points can earn at the end. Oh, dude, my bad. <laughs> I gave away my points, man. I'm so sorry, Ellen. Ellen Sheed. Jesus, I'm sorry. I didn't see it until the end and I gave away my stupid card. I'm sorry. I guarantee you it's not going to be anything good, but let's go check it out. Since you were nice enough to do a super chat. Um, it's so douchey for me. I didn't see it. My bad. My bad. Those points can be redeemed for a free entrance. I wish. They're probably going to give you like little Jelly Ranchers and lollipops. Single? I thought you had a girlfriend. I never said I was single. And sorry if it's uh, a little um, like bumpy the video because my my gimbal died i just want to walk in there and ask them how do you like living in vegas worth moving to uh i've been living here since i was like 10 so yeah kind of hey real quick can i see what you can get with the points oh this is it okay nice on the left okay it's like is this is what you can win everything from a cup to what is that stickers? Oh, you pay for that. Okay. So how many points did I get? I got like probably like somewhere like right here. Got like a thousand something points. I'm assuming. What is this? Is this an eraser? I don't write. I haven't written with a pencil in years. I, like a travel tag. Place travels well with others. Okay. Well, here it is, Ellen. And I guess if you wanted some swag, I did. I did go through this. I only. I just didn't see that other stuff. So there you have it, not even a fucking Jelly Rancher. You get a sticker. <laughs> and
and an eraser. But if you spent like a thousand dollars here with these games, you might get a shirt. Jesus, that made me upset. The eraser? This is an adult only place and you're gonna give people an eraser? There's something, something's not adding up here. Honestly, I feel like I just wasted $37. But hey, at least you guys saw it, you know? <laughs> you guys saw what I saw and I took the hit. Hmm, but what do we have here? It's to erase the memory of the trip in your mind. <laughs> I know. Dude. Oh, Starbucks closed. I would love a fucking a Frappuccino. A, a defeat Frappuccino. So how about this? Let's say you're getting your ass kicked downstairs in the casino, right? You're like down $500 in the first 20 minutes. And you're like, damn, you know what? I'm gonna clean this real quick. Hopefully it cleans. A little bit. You're like, damn, you know what? I'm all sick and tired of getting my ass kicked here in a casino. Let's say you're a thousand dollars down for the night. You're like, hey, you know what? I heard there's a new playground for adults upstairs. We should go. You're like, ah, oh, that's not gonna make me feel better. Yeah, come on, let's go. You bring your friend up here and that's what you show him? Like for another like 20 minutes, you torture him with that stuff? Whew. That's gonna end uh, that's gonna end up with your homie taking out a second mortgage and getting a divorce because of that, because of the stress that you put him through. Uh, da, 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 a mind eraser, maybe. I can't, I can't drink. Beer 30, homie, I can't drink, look at you. Now I know what I won't be doing. Yeah, like I show you guys exactly, I took one for the team. Thank you for the $37 sacrifice, you're the best. You got it, Sta, Stalula Krista or Ixta. That's why your channel is called Vegas Must Try. Thank you for trying. I love that, Randy. Not even an effing jelly wrench. It has me laughing so hard. Dude, I wanted a piece of candy. I was going to find those kids and I was like, hey, can I at least get the points from there? But that's it. Not only did... Like, my card expires. I can't even use it tomorrow. They're like, yeah, you're going to have to pay entry again. You can still use the points. No. Honestly, honestly, it would be, maybe I, I okay, okay, let's, let's, let's bring it back real quick. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic because I came by myself. Although, you guys saw it with me. You guys know if you guys were here, you guys would be like, huh, I don't know about that one. But maybe, look, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe I'm just being a little sour bitch and I didn't, you know. I didn't like being lonely. Maybe that's that's what's happening. Two, two, two. Bro, it was trash. <laughs> they should kick you in the nest for $37. At least you don't you don't waste 20 minutes. What would you rate that place on a scale of one to ten? Okay, what scale? Number ten being the best time of my life, and number one being the worst. <sighs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's say I wasn't doing the live stream, right? Let's say I wasn't talking to myself on the phone right here. It would probably have been a four. Because I was doing a live stream, I would give it a six. But usually when I do live streams, I'm like at a seven or eight. Like I have a lot of fun with live streams. So yeah, that just gives you a, a little perspective. Um, minus 10. Okay, now let's get George. To 250 likes. Let's do that. Come on, one time. One time for the one time. Uh, Sean, Neil gave it a two. Better than Circus Circus? Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. $37 could last a while. Congrats on 36K. Woo, we got 36,000 followers or subscribers. Love that. I have a goal to get to 100K, but look, honestly, I'm just not putting up enough effort right now. So I think the live streams are going to start being more of a frequent thing. And I'm thinking we're gonna do like every um, every Friday we'll do a live stream. It's gonna suck not drinking, but that's the only way we're gonna be as consistent. Did that garbage spot take over the HyperX Arena? No, Michael, we were just at the HyperX Arena recently and it did not take over it. 
I'm gonna flip the screen right now so you can see all the people that are coming out and not just my face. Um, it's just the equivalent of the tickets at Peter Piper Pizza. There you go. You can't drink, but you never say anything about taking a gummy. I don't take gummies, man. I don't deal well with um, with THC. Your boy gets paranoid. Also, I get slow. And you guys would not like to. <laughs> you guys would not like me on the live stream with uh, with THC in my system. At least the music is good over here. Pero como se ya yo va a buscarte. Congrats on the 36K. Let's go. Thank you, Neil. I'm a fan. I just recently discovered you, and I love your vlogs. Thank you, Naomi. Naomi McCollum. Uh, let's go. More live streams. Yeah, I think... Uh, what do you guys think? Every Friday night, if you guys have no plans, you guys can uh, chill with me for a little bit. Because I don't have any plans. I got invited to go to XS uh, by my buddy Trevor. And XS is at over at the Encore Beach Club or at the Wynn. It's their nightclub there. But he said to go at 11 p.m. And honestly, I have a girlfriend. I'm not drinking. Anyway. What the hell am I gonna do at XS? Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> Naomi says she'll definitely be watching. Who is Veronica? Uh, Veronica is uh, my old girlfriend. You're welcome, Jean. Uh, please go live every Friday night, and I hope you go live when I get there on February 8th. So I will be out of town at some point. Um, hopefully, I'll be somewhere out of town. Maybe, maybe I'm back in town during, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know my schedule yet, because I'm gonna be out for a week and then come back, be here for two weeks, and then go back again. All right, we are at Public House. Excess sober sounds like a pass. Yeah, dude. Excess is a a really nice nice club, I guess nightclub. But being sober is gonna be a bitch. Should we go to Tap House? Hello. Can I get a table by any chance? What? Yeah. Please. If it's a booth, I'd love you forever have one if not I'll take what I can get table booth that sounds like something yeah let's go uh, my night is going pretty lame because I went to that play thing upstairs dude it sucks yeah, I thought it sucked. Why, why did you think it sucked? Um, well, I want to know about it. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it just opened today, right? I didn't know that. I thought it opened like a week ago. Yesterday, okay. Yeah, well, you get comfortable too here to have a, have a good time. So what happened? Like, you by yourself? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm doing a live stream right now, so I was showing people what they have, right? So first off, it's $37 just to walk in. You, they wouldn't even let you walk in without paying. Like, you have to pay. So it's going in front of, in front of the restaurant? In front of, like, uh, in, in, like right behind the, the carrot, the carrot top. I think that's a hyper X arena, no, maybe. So the, you walk in, it's the one already, like, standing right there, so you don't come in? Yeah, they won't let you come in further. They're just like, so it's 37 bucks. You can't come in, they give you a little card. You can't come in the next day with that same card. It expires that day. The points don't, which is weird, but you have to pay another $37 to enter. There's like maybe like 15 to 20 games, I would say. You have to play them with people. If you're with people and you're drunk, they might be kind of fun, but it just seems a little cheap. A little, it's very echoey in there. There's no machines. I thought it was gonna be like an arcade. And it's just like, like the games are just like not that cool. Some, I don't know, dude. I just thought it was gonna be fun. Did you think it was gonna be fun too? Cause you look surprised. Are you gonna work there or something? Why are you asking that? I was working up there You quit? Good. Good. All right, so there's like a couple of like people working by the, by the outside. And I guess you get points, right? They have like a little area where you redeem your points. You know how usually arcades, they give you candy, they give you like some stuff. 
they were giving out erasers with the logo. I was like, if this is, if this is for adults, why the fuck are you giving erasers? I haven't used the pencil in like four years. But yeah, no, go do your thing. It's pretty whack though. All good, all good. We'll, we'll have a good time here. <laughs> for sure. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right, so there you guys have it. You damn charmer, you damn. Oh my god, everyone thinks I'm fucking spitting game, huh? I'm not, I'm not. Boys are back in town. How can I make this stand up? Dude, it sucks not having my pop socket. Or do I? Oh, I think I do. Hold on. Sorry for move, moving the camera so much. Someone call me the Rizzler? You know what would be cool since you're not drinking? How about a video with some of the best mocktails in Vegas? <laughs> I think none drinkers like me would like to see that. I don't know if that would be as popular though. Uh, play sober or drunk is a pass. Yep. <laughs> I love how you guys hated it just as much as I did. Hey there, and I haven't heard the word whack in a long time. I know, I, I like, my vocabulary is very like, old school and new school at the same time so old people were like nobody even says that word anymore and some young kids are like you can't say fire i'm like dude i've been saying fire since i was like i don't know like 17. oh i definitely needed this i'm feeling like eating some wings To be completely honest, that's the smell that got me to enter here. I smelled the wings and I was like, all right, public house sounds like a good place to visit. Oh, look at all those beers. Uh, I want something with buffalo sauce. So I see Tigger saying some tossed uh, like wings or something. What do you said? Tossed tenders. Buffalo chicken salad, $21, in case anyone was asking. Wings, $25. Chicken fingers is $20. So chicken fingers, right? Those are the same thing as chicken tenders. It's gotta be similar. Or should I just do a burger? And ask for buffalo sauce on the side. Damn. What should I do? I don't know. I guess I'll ask uh, the server. Hello, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. My name is Mary Yola. Can I offer you something you drink to get you started? Uh, no, I think just water. water is good? Yeah, I think you for know now. What are you getting for food? Yeah, well, I wanted to ask you something. Um, how many wings come in this uh, wing? It's a 12. 12 wings? Oh, that's good. That's a good amount of wings. What would you recommend? Do you think the wings are better or the burgers better? I like the burgers better because they come with fries, so it's more like a complete meal. The wings are just come with carrots and celery. Let's do that then. Okay. Which one and then can want? I ask for some buffalo on the side? Yeah. Hell which, yeah. Which one do you want? Just uh, the standard? Is that good? Uh, that's good? good. Yeah, let's just yeah. go for the standard then. Uh, and then it's got a buffalo sauce? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Was I was I rising? Oh, Sharon said nineteen dollars for your wings. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharon. I appreciate that super chat. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at right here at Public House. They have a giant screen here. This looks like a good place to watch sports. Uh, but thank you, Sharon. Sorry, I went for the uh, I went for the burger right when you sent that. 
Uh, you're the best. I appreciate you. Um, so, I don't like the fact that you guys said that I was rizzing. Some of you may not know what rizzing is. It's what young people say when, um, when you're like flirting, I guess. Uh, but no, I wasn't, I wasn't doing any of that stuff. I was just, she seemed so excited. Thank you. To learn the, at the fact, to learn the fact that that place was closed or that that place was whack because she was going to work there. So that's what she's like. Oh, really? And I was like, yeah. And I mean, you guys got to understand something. I know we're talking right now. You guys are saying something there. And I'm like looking at my screen right now. I look like a crazy person just yelling at my phone. Um, <laughs> figuring champ said, bro, I'm 41. I just had to Google <laughs> the Riz word. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was just having a conversation. But no, honestly, like everyone says that I'm a flirty guy. Like all my girlfriends and my current girlfriend always say that I have a flirty personality. So I understand that. But yeah. It's just a regular conversation, you know? It, feel, it felt good to talk to a human for once. Uh, but shout out to Sharon for her super chat. That's the homegirl. Google Fortnite. Uh, I don't have to do that. They call me Riz Khalifa. <laughs> I love that. That's how just... That's just how us Latinos are. We are like that. We, uh... We're a bit fiery when it comes to talking. And I specifically have like this, this urge to be, to be found funny or something. I don't know. It's, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Talking to the opposite sex is not flirting or cheating, especially if you're just having a normal conversation. Exclamation point. She really means that. Um, if my girlfriend is around, I won't have a long conversation with a girl. Um, because of that, because I know I, I can't help myself and I start to want to make people laugh. And if they're laughing, it's just not a good look. So I personally don't do it. Riz is short for charisma. Oh yeah, charisma. Más los mexicanos, la verdad. You're good. Some people in public yell at nothing in particular. Yeah, I know, but those people have fentanyl in their system. And all I have is like just like water and protein shakes. So... Uh, it's, it is weird. It's not as weird when you're in the street and there's a guy that just pissed on himself yelling at the wall. But it is a little weird when you see like a normal looking guy yelling at the at his table. You're a good guy, George. Good answer. Yeah, I get it, dude. Just like I wouldn't like my girlfriend just like going on a on a friend date with a dude. Like I wouldn't allow that, so I wouldn't I wouldn't like my girlfriend to do that. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Thank you so much. I have to wash my hands after touching all that BS. Is there a restroom here? I need to go find one. There may not be a restroom here. This looks like a weird restroom door. Oh, okay. That's what we're gonna do? Dude, what if I come back and my food's not there anymore? All right, I can't. I should have recorded that. <laughs>
All right, this is what we're looking at right here. So I guess it's a better bang for your buck than the wings. Hey, George, got to run. Be safe and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you, Tigger. I don't, I don't know if I should call you Tigger. Should I be closing my eyes? Questionable view here. Nah, we were good. I was just washing my hands. Come on, guys. Don't be so nasty. Is the taco truck still around? I tried when I was in Freeman. Awesome stuff. Uh, no, that taco truck is not around. That dumbass went bankrupt. It's a long story. He basically jipped a bunch of people over and uh, I was one of them. He owed me lots of money. But it's okay. We're doing good. Unfortunately, you know, things happen. Things went sideways. Love this. All right. It's a pretty decent burger. almost fell on the burger so it was the red flag the fact that the burger came out so fast and they didn't ask me how I wanted to cook but now that it's here it's pretty good I like it I like it um, tear that burger up <laughs> let's go I gained 12 pounds just looking at that burger to be young again you say you're 40 years old when did you realize you were old? When did you start feeling old? If you if you actually are old. Cuz uh, I haven't yet. People always tell me like, "Oh, you know, after like 21, you start feeling a certain way. After 25, you start feeling but I just keep feeling better and better." So I'm wondering when should I expect the decline? Uh, that looks good. Uh, you have the best lives. Keep it up, man. Thank you, Matthew. I felt I felt it at 35. Okay, I see you. Don't say that I'm 43 and I still feel like I'm 21. Oh, there it is, Gene. Two different um, outlooks. How about everyone else in the chat? How old are you and when did you start feeling old? Twenty-five to thirty-five was prime. I was ripped at forty-three, and once forty-six hit, I began injury prone. Oh wow! Thirty-two when my back started hurting. When people start calling you sir on the regular, it's not because the world is nice. I felt old once I realized that football players could be my kids. Oh, I see that. Okay, I see that. Oh. Uh, you're as you're as young as you feel. I'm 41, but I have high mileage. <laughs> 14, dang. Who's 14? Uh, is that going to make make you have? Is that going to make you have to move your bowels like the burger? I don't think so. 40, doggy. When I turned 52, 52 years ago. Okay, 
50, I can deal with 50. Local Tree said at 40, or he's 40. You are old when you when you hurt your back walking out of the bathroom. <laughs> I love it. This burger was $25, or this whole plate was $25. A little expensive, but wait, no, the burger was 20 bucks. The chicken wings were 25. Mm. Seth said, I thought you were in your late 20s. How old do you think I am, Seth? Walking out of the bathroom, dude. Is putting in some work in there. Just stretch every day and you won't feel old. That's some good advice. Yeah, my physique went down the drain at 46. Knee injury, shoulder injury, neck injury, lack of energy. It's a nightmare. Maybe you just have low testosterone. Uh, Set said 28, 27. I'm actually 28, so good job. Damn, sorry to hear that. You look young. Thank you. Where you at tonight? Just got here. I'm at the Luxor at Public House. Um, or when you felt the need, when I or when I felt the need to tell you, don't eat your burger upside down. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's when you felt old. I eat it upside down because all the best ingredients are at the top. When you get older, never trust a fart. <laughs> Bro, that's funny. Enjoy that burger in your 20s. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. Look at this. This is for all the 40 year olds in the chat. Josh said, it'll burn coming out the other end. You don't know Mexican stomachs. I'm 38 and that looks like a, like a Nexium pill. Welcome to, your, to the 30s. I don't even know what a Nexium pill is. So maybe that means I'm young. Um, Christina said, five guys got real expensive. I order a small burger and fries <laughs> and it came to $23. You're right about that. That shit's ridiculous. Made in 1982. Julian, hi. Sharon said, that's so true. What's so true? That is gonna burn coming out? Oh, that Nexium. Oh, it's for heartburn and reflex. Oh, okay. Dude, you guys got me crying. <laughs> Whoever said the fucking... <laughs> you get old when you can't trust the fart anymore. <laughs> Does Wahlburgers make good burgers? I think they're kind of, they're kind of mid. They're like whatever. But I love being in my an 80s baby, an early 80s baby, mm. because I got I got to deal with the old tech and new tech. That's right. That's right. George had been 
Have you been to Guy Fieri's restaurant? They had that trash can. No, um, it's like a nachos, right? I think it's nachos or, or fries, but I haven't had that. I did go to the one at the link. Uh, it was good. I had a burger. It was pretty good. A little expensive, but it was good. It's like prescription. Salde uvas because Damn, this guy's hella Hispanic. I'm 46, and I just ate a bunch of White Castles. You're welcome, couch. <laughs> a lot of farts coming or what? Keep pouring that shit. Enjoy that. My butt's burning just looking at that. Damn. I got a bunch of 40-year-olds in the chat. Anyone in their 50s in the chat? Yes, it's 61. Well, what up, Mr. What would that make you? You were born in what? Like what? 60, 60 something? Were you born in the 60s? Yeah, you must have been, right? Uh, Daniel says you're hot. Well, thank you, Daniel. Oh, quite a few in the 50s, right? We got Zach at 58. You are a young millennial or an old Gen Z based on your age. Yeah, you're right about that. Doing great, thank you. I don't like fast food hamburgers because a lot of the times it's not even real meat. You're right, but it does taste good. 59 for McLanders, Misty's 52, 52, a tre and trekking along, let's go. George, I think you're pretty, it's pretty safe to say you have an older audience tonight. <laughs> My geriatric audience, I love you guys. I deal good with uh, older people. Not so good with uh, younger people though. Even though like, I don't know. I have a young spirit. I feel like older people with young spirit, like that's, that's who I connect with. Because age is nothing but a number. Unless she's uh, under 18, then it's, uh, then it's an issue. Smokey 25, let's go. Someone said, am I watching the Super Bowl? I don't know. I'm thinking the day of the Super Bowl, I'm gonna do a live stream. And I'm just gonna be walking around wherever I can, just so I can like record the madness of the Super Bowl here in Vegas, if I'm in town. I plan to be in town. Um, I believe it's uh, Sunday the 11th. Um, so yeah, do a, uh, um, a live stream in the morning and then watch the Super Bowl with my friends later at night. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's why we love you. Thank you, Josh. I love you too. Uh, just imagine how it felt in that play place. <laughs> just imagine how we felt in there. Oh man, that's funny. We'll be in Vegas for in a couple of weeks, ready to tear it up again. Let's go, yes, at 61 and still kicking it. You're right, it's a Vegas thing. Um, George, you like junk food? Hell yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Like too much, like way too much. I love sweets. I love ice cream. I love cake. I love cake. I love cookies. Um, not so much the candy, like the one that sticks, the, the chewy one, like the one that sticks to your tongue, your their teeth. I don't like that so much. Geriatric ass. <laughs> That's whack. <laughs> uh, Peter Luger has the best burger. It looks pretty perfect, like in a commercial. And obviously, aged beef. I have yet to go there. What are the best donuts on the strip? Ah, that's a hard one. There's not really good donuts um, on the strip. That's. I mean. 
Yeah, I couldn't tell you. That's a hard one. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to get donuts on the strip. That's not like Dunkin' Donuts. It has to be like at a, at a part of a dessert menu at a steakhouse or something. Um, ya sabes que si abres un asilo, te irá bien. Email. Email, why don't you write in English so that everyone can understand you? She says, if I open an asylum for old people, uh, or like a, what is it called? Like a retiree home or something, and I have good business because I have a lot of people like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm an old millennial. Are you, Gene? Are you? Are you, Gene? I think you are, actually. I'm from 95. And I'm at the right, at the middle. I'm one of the young ones. You are, I think so. Mm, all of us old people live vicariously to you, through you. Nice. Early 80s, yeah, I think it's from 80 until 95. Some people have it from 80 until 2000, so it depends. I'm gonna eat this, okay? Oh. you eating I'm eating at public house at the Luxor Matthew beer park or carousel bar definitely beer park carousel is that the one at the uh, at the plaza if it is definitely beer park uh, have you hit up Durango yet their sports book is awesome I went there just after they opened yeah I went on New Year's that's where I spent New Year's it's dope. That place is cool. It's a little small, but it's really, really cool. A little expensive, too. Like, I don't know. I like it. It's worth checking out. Beer Park has to, has to be the best all around. One of the best. Oh, I'm, con I'm confusing it with uh, Park. What's the one that's, like, next to the stadium? Or the T-Mobile Arena? Beer Park. And Beer... I'm mixing them up. That burger or the DUI dirt dog from oh the DUI dog from dirt dog definitely the DUI dog. That's way better than the burger. Ah, uh, not way better, but it's like up there. If you like hot dogs, do you ever do Icon of the Seas? It seems amazing. What is that? Sounds familiar, but I can't remember what that is. So it's Beer Park and Beer House. Yeah, it's Beer House. What up, Alfonso? I forgot I had to pay. I was about to get up. Oh, I kind of the sea, the biggest cruise in the world. Oh, would I ever do it? I would do a cruise. 
That sounds kind of cool. My girlfriend and I get motion sickness, so maybe, maybe it might be, it might not be good. But I, I would definitely want to do a cruise before I die, <laughs> or a couple of. Beer park is at Paris. You're right. I was thinking of beer house, but both of those are better than the carousel bar. Isn't it brew dog? That's another one. Can I get the check when you get a chance? Well, what's good for dessert here? What do you like more? I like the cheesecake. You like the cheesecake more than the brownie though? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the people. What yeah, which, which people? Everybody. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I'll go with the people this time. The, the, cookie. the, the cookie brownie, yeah, yeah. You're a good salesperson. Hey, can I get the receipt with that as well? Thank you. No, no, I'll eat it here. Thank you. She got me. What can I say? She got me. Yes, she didn't. But well, she did. Uh, yeah, downtown I feel is overrated compared to the strip. It's properly rated if you have like some skin in the game, you know? Like, like if you're a first timer to Vegas and you're young or you're, you're like kind of preppy, definitely stay on the strip. If you come from money and stuff like that. But if you got a little bit of grit, you know, if you like if you're not afraid to get your hands a little dirty, Fremont could be, I would argue, even more fun at a strip. Because you get to see more people, more bars. Like when you're when you're here, you're basically, let's say you're at like New York, New York, right? Let's say you're staying there. You're at a bar. To get to another bar that's not at the Park MGM, you have to walk a lot. Let's say you want to go, I don't know, to the Planet Hollywood. I don't know, I just feel like downtown, everything is so close by and it's just like a shit show all the time. Wings for dessert, nope. Nevada has three locations of Tommy's Burger. She talked you into it, yeah, she did. Good shit, Coco. <laughs> Uh, if you ever had to pick one brewery to visit in Brewery Row, which one would it be? Uh, just basing off of the fact... Oh, alright. I think it's pretty easy. It would be Abel Baker. That's my favorite brewery there. They have the, big, the biggest variety of beers. The best beers. Yeah, you can take this. Thank you so much. And they also have the best food. Uh, so Abel Baker, and they have like the little duck as a as a logo. Super dope. It's a cool place too. George, you like free food? Yeah, Larry. You gonna you wanna offer free food or what? Coco, I live in Arizona and I miss it too. The Tommy Tommy Burger place closed here, no? Oh no no, no. I'm thinking of uh, of the other place that was at the Crystals. Bobby. Bobby Flay's Burger, that place closed. Well, we need Friday live streams in downtown Fremont, please. Okay, maybe we can we can work for that. This next Friday, I'm gonna be out of town, but the following one, we can run that. Thank you. Uh, Vegas was awesome in the 90s. It sucks now, too overpriced. That's what Alfonso says. Sharon says downtown, definitely. Woo, it's here. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Look at this. Look at this. So this is a cookie brownie with um, some ice cream and some whipped cream. I'm thinking, uh, damn, everyone just got so much louder. Oh yeah. There's the cookie. Is this vegan?
whipped cream is decent. Great choice. Is Whataburger open on the strip yet? No, I don't think so. Um, great choice, says Simon. Vegas sucks, just a little. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Bro, uh, but what I like about you, George, is that you do your own thing. There's too many live streams at Fremont. At least you don't hang out at the same spots. Love that. Is there an ice cream on that? Is there ice cream on that brownie? Yes, on top. George is the best thing in Las Vegas. Great YouTuber. Thank you. <laughs> Why am I enjoying you watching you eat? Oh my god, that's all. How many live streamers on are on Fremont? Um, this is a lot. It doesn't may not look like a lot, but it's quite a bit. The ice cream is not that good. The brownie is good. The ice cream is just like, you know, that big tub. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, it doesn't taste as milky. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. Seven and a half. Do you hang out with Norma Jelly? She's another YouTuber. I don't hang out with her like on the regular, but I do talk to her like at least once a week on Instagram and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, she's the homie. Damn, I only, the one and only I know is Sin City Family. I figure there were, the, figure they're one of them. Yeah, Sin City Family, I always... Fuck. <laughs> Sin City Family, every time I live stream down, downtown, which I've done it maybe twice or three times, I always see them. Always downtown. Was good, Belinda. There's too many, though. Love the Ninth Island, Mukbang. That thing. Um, dumb question, but Pawn Stars, a.k.a. Gold and Silver Pond, still popular place? Yeah, I would say a lot of people go there. Oh, by the way, that guy died. Like Rick's son, I think his name is Adam. Uh, apparently he died recently. He was a 40 year old, so you guys outlived him. Hello, Vegas Must Try, good to see you. Good to see you too, Ger Gerard. I'll watch our live stream later. Well, thank you, Gerard. You have a good night, sir. What are you gonna do? What are gonna be the hotspots on Super Bowl weekend? Dude, hotspots? Pretty much anywhere that you see a, uh, a, a sports book, Circa is going to be crazy. Uh, I think they have a buffet there. All you can eat and probably not drink, but it's like probably like $200 per person or something like that. Do you hang out with Jacation when he's in town? Rarely, but I do, yeah. Uh, let's go to Durango Station. Thank you, thank you. For those of you wondering, the total tab was $41. Am I good? Oh yeah, I can remove it now. Thank you.
Is there any way I can get a box for this? Is that possible? Everyone join that membership. Let's go Vegas, Mike. Regina said, F you. <laughs> you outlive them. What's your favorite spot in San Diego? Um, probably downtown where that, like Little Italy. I would say that's my favorite spot. Do you eat all of your food on the videos? Depends. If I go to, if I, if they give me like, like more than two plates, I don't. If they give me two plates, I usually do. Because uh, some places, like, some places, like, invite me to go and I include them in a video or they see me recording and they send me out more stuff. I definitely have to take stuff to go, especially because it's really hard to build up an appetite as you're talking about the food and eating at the same time. Dustin said, great video of Old Red. Can't wait to go. Hell yeah, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, we love Little Italy too, our favorite SD neighborhood. Yeah, it's really cool. And if you go a little bit further down, you're like, I think you're in downtown. Uh, those places are cool. There's like some really cool breweries there, some cool restaurants. There is a Mexican restaurant up there called, uh, what's it called? Like something about stepmom or stepdad or Katrina. It's like a two story place. They have several locations and it's like, really colorful in there what's it called it has like a nice like second story balcony rooftop maybe you would know gene the place is cool i mean i was wasted when i went but i just remember the drinks being good what is your favorite buffet Ooh, favorite buffet probably i'm gonna go with buccano wind has better quality but buccano is right up there with quality but they have different variety so i'm gonna go there Yikes, Las Vegas prices. You're in Jaycation's hood. What does that mean? <laughs> Water bar, Pacific Beach. What is your favorite steakhouse? Also, I'll second the old red video. Thank you, thank you. Your favorite steakhouse? I'm gonna go with Prime at the Bellagio. I haven't been to that many steakhouses, but I think that one would be it. I should go to more. George, have you heard of a TV show called Las Vegas with James Caan? Kane? Nope, never. His name is Jay. It's, it's from San Diego. Do you know Poopsie? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know Pomsi. I know him the least. Although I met him uh, during one of Norma's videos. Uh, we connect. No, you know what? It was one of Pomsi's videos. He hit me up and he's like, bro, you want to come play basketball at the Palms? And uh, he had one of the suites there. And I was playing basketball with him, Jacob, um, maybe Jacation. Norma was there for sure. Pomsi's wife was there. But I've only met him that day. I think it's Pomsi. Yeah, it's Pomsi. It's P-O-M-P. -P. I think his last name is Pomparelli. Have you ever heard of inside the, muse the Titanic Museum? I went in once about 15 years ago. I really enjoyed it. Have you ever been inside? Okay, yeah, I haven't been inside. Yes, it is Pomp. Pompsy's awesome. Yeah, I really like his vibe. Have you tried the $20 one pound ribeye at Jackson's? No, never. Lydia was there too. Was she there? I think that sounds right. For some reason, I can't remember Lydia being there, but she's always there, so you're probably right. I don't care about fancy steakhouses. All I a good steakhouse, Texas Roadhouse with fresh bread. I care more about barbecue, you're right.
Would you ever collaborate at T30 with other Vegas YouTubers? I actually have done it a few times. I've been in like four normal videos. I've been in a vacation video. He's been on one of mine on Dan versus World. Jacob was one in one of my videos. Um, but I feel like we work better separately. Like Norma likes to have a lot of help, but like Pomsi, he's at the point that he doesn't really need people to help him out uh, to be in his videos. Uh, but who knows, maybe we'll, uh, we'll have something in the future. Have you met Graham Stephan? No, dude, but I really want to. Norma's friends with him and I want her, I want her to introduce me because I always watch his videos. Ryan Panetta, I haven't. I know someone that works for him, but I never met him. I don't really care to meet him that that much. Uh, he seems like he's uh, way too much into his business. Uh, and Graham Stephan, I don't know, I don't know Graham Pan uh, the, the Panetta guy too much, Ryan. I would like to meet him though, why not? Old Red looks like it has that Nashville vibe. Yeah, that place is awesome. Even if you don't like country music, uh, that place is sick. That place is so dope. She never came back with the box, I, I asked. Gerard said, I, I'll watch the replay. <laughs> Thank you, man. Wait, Norma is friends with Graham Stephan? Yeah, she's friends with Graham Stephan and uh, Andre Jeek. Jeek? I don't know if I'm saying it right. But yeah, I actually met Andre on Norma's birthday. There wasn't a video of that, but yeah, I met him. Do you still talk to Tim Lee? Have you guys hung out recently? We haven't. He hit me up one day to, to, to do something, but it was like the day before, I believe or the day of, and I was like, yeah, bro, I can't make it out. He was here, he was here recently, or he comes to Vegas often, I should say. What are you grubbing on? All right, I guess let me show people. This is what I was grubbing on, but I'm getting kind of full. I'm gonna see if I can just take the top or the bottom to go. George, is the steakhouse at Circa Circus good? People say it's good, I've never been. I wouldn't think it sucks, just off of basing what people say. I wouldn't think it's actually that good though. I just think it's a place that was good at some point before there was so many steakhouses and people just like kind of grandfathered the fact that that place was good. What is your favorite residency in Vegas or do you want to see come to Vegas? Favorite residency, I would say it's a magic one and that's David Blaine over at the Wynn. I think he used to be at Resorts World. Uh, I would pay money to see a video with you and all the Vegas YouTubers. Randy, you can watch it. I think Norma has one. Look up Brocation. Not all of them get along. I know. Yeah, there's, a, there's some drama in the YouTube world. I'm not part of it. <clears throat> you mean Norma Cabrera Jelly? Is the stage name? What? I don't know. Jelly is the stage name. Oh, I don't know about that. I know Norma is her name. Um, that looks good. Good night, everyone. Going to bed. Good night, <laughs> Larry. You know what, who am I playing? I'm not gonna eat this later. You should go see Kylie Minogue, 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 with her residency will begin soon. Yeah, probably not. That box isn't coming. I think 
They gave a box to the people next to me, but not me. I love Tim Lee, Rockstar Eater too. What is that? I thought it was steak on whipped cream. No, 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 it's a, it's a cookie, brownie cookie or something. They call it a brookie. It's a cookie inside a brownie. Where to after dinner? I know, we'll walk around. Do we want to spend money on the casino? We'll see. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, Have you met Travel Ruby? Oh yeah, I meant to say this earlier. Someone said that it looks like uh, Ruby would, something about drama. Um, I don't know about that, to be honest, if she would. All I know is that I met her and Mr. Ruby a couple times already. And they are, or she is, way more cool than I would have thought that she was. Basing it off of her personality on, on YouTube, she seems a little, like, like, stern and like let me talk to your manager type of person but she's super chill i was surprised i was like wow you're hella good you're hella dope and her husband's like a really cool nice guy he was teaching me things about cameras and stuff uh they're super nice i actually just saw her when i did the fountain fountain uh fountain fontaine blue review and she's super dope and we got Renato said, if you had to pick one, the Golden Tiki or Frankie's Tiki Room, I would probably go to the Golden Tiki Room. That place is way more like festive, I would say. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, what's the other one called? Frankie's and Golden. Okay, so Frankie's, uh, I wouldn't go. I would, I would go to Golden. Well, you endure 2024 sober, you may consider doing a slot channel. I'd watch that shizzle. Would you guys watch it? I was thinking about doing one. I just, uh, you know, it would have to be a good investment of like, you know, a couple thousand to get started with that channel. Let me get your manager vibe. I know some stuff about other YouTubers, but I'm not going to mention it here because this is your channel. Ooh, Christina, if you got the tea, let me know what's going on. Or at least let me let me at least know what you think you know because I don't know I don't know I don't know what the hell's going on as far as I know I'm cool with everyone um, yeah everyone like I love Norma I love Jay uh, yeah Jacob if anything, we're just like, people are just a little distant because everyone's focusing, working on their channel. Everyone's always busy all the time. Uh, um, so yeah, like, I don't know. This is very indifferent, indifferent if anything. The best live stream, man. You better, you're better than Brian Christopher Slots. Travel Ruby's awesome, but keep the live streams coming. Biggest must try, that was a joke. You ended up doing the same thing at F1 and you did tonight at play. Wait, what was the joke? Don't do a slot channel. Oh. You ended up doing the same thing at F1 and you did tonight at play. So what happened at F1? I don't know. I don't know what happened at F1. You're winning over Vegas, over all the Vegas YouTubers. I don't know about that. I appreciate you though. The good thing is that you stay away from the drama. I, yeah, I mean, honestly, I would like to know what the drama is. I'm being nosy now. But if I have to choose whether staying away from the drama and not knowing, I'd rather do that. All right, let's get out of here. Man, I just drank like two of those large water bottles. Hey, the boy. 
I think that's how you say it. Thank you for the super chat. I love the little dog holding a heart. Um, I don't know if you're a man or a woman or something in between, but thank you so much. I appreciate you and the little puppy emoji that you sent. <laughs> thank you. Canela said, you seem like a pretty chill you seem like pretty chill i don't think anyone would have beef with you you seem real i am real i think that's the issue i think or not the issue the uh the reason why i'm i'm okay is because people take this shit way too serious and i come from humble beginnings so to me like i'm already winning so i come i come at all of this with a, a different perspective i think some people have like famine mentality uh, da, 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 da. How is the weather? How, how hot is it there right now? Cold or mild? Let's see. It's currently 47 degrees, so quite, you know, quite chilly. For me, at least. Uh, George, I like that you drink like a fish and you seem to be okay still. I wasn't drinking alcohol, if that's what you mean. Have you been to the Pirate Tiki Bar at the Arts District? No, that's the brand new one. I haven't been there yet because I'm not drinking, but uh, as soon as my girlfriend comes to town, like, we'll go over there and we'll make a video. Embrace the drama, square up your stance, get a solid grip, and dip into the entertainment. Ah, uh, nah. Honestly, because if I ever have drama with someone, like, I either want to defuse it or I want to fight if it's serious. Like, legit, like, tussle, you know? But if it's not worth like punching someone, it's not worth fighting for. Like, I don't know, that's the way I see it. The crabs tables right now, $20 minimums of crabs. I'm used to seeing 15 and 25, not 20. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, playing Red Hot Chili Peppers? I see. You're definitely my favorite Vegas vlogger. You keep it real. That's that's all we got left. How hood is Vegas? Is it safe? Uh, it's a big city with a lot of minorities. And don't get offended in the chat, but hey, that's just statistics. A lot of Mexicans, a lot of like, like black people. We always get in fights, you know? Against each other too, which sucks. Uh, and then you also have your ghetto parts that are, aren't uh, minorities you know but yeah that's just that's just what's gonna happen when you have like income inequality and all that stuff there's gonna be rough neighborhoods there's also really really nice places here so I would say it's somewhere I don't know I would say it's somewhere on the dangerous side but not too crazy just because there's a lot of people here with them um, with uh, with money a lot of gambling to you know be an alcoholic in this city so hopefully yeah. every time i go on these escalators the reception goes down your channel is buffering do most people live in summerlin or henderson um i think henderson is bigger so more people live there but the, that that place is super safe i would say henderson is one of the safest cities at least that's what it makes it makes some kind of list all the time that's one of the safest places sorry i had to spit a little bit i'm in spring valley not hood at all yeah i live somewhere around there and uh you're right it's not that hood but sometimes it is like you can tell by going to the Walmart. If you go to a Walmart and it looks like the walking dead, you know, people are stealing. There's people like wearing flip flops and like their nipples hanging out and like all that stuff. You know, you're in a bad side of town. If you go to a Walmart and it feels like you're at a Trader Joe's, you're in a good side of town. The simple fact that there's a Trader Joe's in that neighborhood that means that you're in a good side of town or like a not a sprouts what's it what's the other one called well just yeah you get my point if there's a lot of like happy massage places 
you know it was probably a rough side of town walmart on fort apache fort apache is that up north i can't remember oh no fort apache is on the west 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 side uh no that place is not that bad have you ever met native americans there like navajos no maybe if i have i haven't known or realized are there jobs there besides casinos yeah there's a ton of jobs uh, um there's big companies here like uh accounting firms there's like some constructions there's manufacturing like factories and stuff like that uh do you kick it with vacation i have you know we're friends but we don't like kick it we're not like best buddies aquí en las vegas ya no se sabe would you recommend someone to move to vegas from california uh i would recommend it if they were my friends if they are some people that i don't know i'd say please stay in california stop jacking up our home prices here i'm trying to buy a house and in the last two years it's been out of this world ridiculously expensive so please stay the fuck away from my city um respectfully of course <laughs> <sighs> did you go to <laughs> did you go to the knitting convention yes i was actually just there at the knitting convention how'd you know california folks are pains in the ass yeah i mean a lot of uh a lot of stuff happening there in california a lot of crazy laws you know people stealing other people's cars at a crazy rate people stealing from stores that are like absurd I don't like that kind of stuff. Please. Did Don say something? Who the hell is Don? Or were you talking to me? Wait, I'm from California. <laughs> uh, well, maybe not from where you're from, but like big cities, stuff, bad stuff is happening. Do you ever see yourself leaving Las Vegas permanently? Yeah, I can definitely see that. Especially if I'm working from home. But that would be the end. Don't crap on California, folks. <laughs> we love Cali. I love Cali, too. Uh, I just wouldn't live there, especially San Francisco right now. Like, anywhere in the Bay looks crazy. In-N-Out in Oakland had to close due to a lot of theft. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In-N-Out, one of the, the happiest, like, most, like, productive and, like, uh, a company that pays their employees super well had to close down. Like, that's crazy. Would you and your girlfriend visit new mexico sure why not i'd visit anywhere la jolla is great of course la jolla is great what did matt k say that he retracted it well anyway guys i think we're about to finish up the live stream um i'm trying to move to vegas from cali you should do it. Right now, it's a good time. There's there's a lot of jobs here. Depends on where you work. Obviously, if you want to work in the industry, like a, like a bartender or a busser, you can get like two or three jobs here and have a pretty good living. Or living. Which YouTubers get high before they stream? Um, probably the YouTubers that don't have a lot of subscribers. That's gonna be my guess. But I have yet to meet someone who does that. What would your next place of residence be? I mean, what state? If I were to move somewhere, my first choice, like if in a perfect world, would be San Diego. I love California. I love the weather. I love that city. My second choice would be Austin, Texas. Um, my third choice, probably somewhere in Texas. I like a, I like the state. I wouldn't. I would never live in Florida. I don't think I'd live in the on the East Coast. Anywhere that's really cold, I wouldn't live. Maybe Denver. Denver would be cool. Love your vlog. Stay safe. Visit Santa Fe, George. There's a lot of nice hot springs over there, and the food is great. Santa Fe. Where's Santa Fe? California. Well, I guess I have to Google where Santa Fe is, but. In the meantime, we're gonna conclude this um, this uh, this live stream. You would love Denver. I've been there once. It was great. It was a really cool place. A lot of breweries there, weed, all that stuff before it was legal here. 
Uh, so yeah, Belinda, thank you. I'll show you around Texas if you come. Love that, Bradley. I would love, uh, I'd actually love to live there. Santa Fe is New Mexico. There it is, all right. Santa Fe, New Mexico, sorry, sorry guys. Fucking ignorant here. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking with them um, so far. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure to show you guys around and it was fun having that conversation about the ages and when you started feeling old. You rule, brother, keep these up. Uh, we'll be visiting in March, hell yeah. Let's do that, Matt, uh, come through. So yeah, this is gonna be the cadence, hopefully. On Fridays, we'll do live streams. So maybe like anywhere from seven to nine, check to see if I'm live. Um, turn on the bell notifications. Uh, and also please be active on the chat. If I don't, if I don't read it, you know, send a message again uh, to keep the chat going, to keep it pushing it to other people and all that stuff. It's fun, these are fun. I have a lot of fun doing these. Uh, so hopefully, um, yeah, so hopefully we can keep continuing them, continue doing them maybe like once, once a week or something like that, we can have them going. Uh, so yeah, we have a goal. Good night mods. You guys, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you, Gene. Thank you everyone that's still on. Matthew says, thanks man, enjoy. As always, please keep it going. Uh, yep, expect the new video to come out on Thursdays and we'll do a live stream on Fridays. Sounds good, homies. Thank you so much. Good night. Be safe.